Hi, I'm Dutch Dread, and I've uh, I've always wanted to make YouTube movies, YouTube clips about what I think is wrong and right in the world. And I've wanted to do this for years, but I've always been too lazy. However, today I saw a video about Shock of God, and it was probably the dumbest, most retarded thing I have ever heard. And the problem is that he doesn't understand it. And I thought, finally, I have, now I have to step in. I have to do something. I have to start making videos because this stupidity can't be allowed to go on any longer. He's a theist, and he asked the question, how, how can you prove atheism is right? Which is just one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. It's, and the problem is, he doesn't understand atheism. He doesn't understand the stupidity of the question. And this is because you, as atheists, we assume that everyone understands what we're saying. They, they, they have the same way of thinking. The problem is, people don't, and especially theists don't. So, we have, to, we have to guide them through it, step by step. So, this video is for you, Shock of God. And I'm going to explain to you step by step why what you said is completely retarded. It's just the most, uh, the most dumb, uh, sh I, I just, it just angers me. It's, I don't think I've ever heard shit quite this stupid. I could count it on two hands how often I've heard stupidity of this caliber. And I, I, have, I have to insult you first because I have to instill in you a sense of... A feeling of how stupid we actually think your question is. Because maybe if we just you know, humiliate you enough, you'll step back and look at what you're actually saying and realize why we think it's just moronic. And trust me, we do. And it is. So please, please, please understand. Please believe me. What you're saying is stupid. Smarter people than you have thought about this. Me, for instance, uh, Matt Dillhoudenty from the Atheist Experience, he has answered this. He's answered it probably better than I ever can. But I'm going to try and do it step by step, as simple as possible. First, I have to explain to you what is wrong with your understanding of atheism. Because if you don't know what's, what, if, if your understanding of atheism is wrong, then your question is wrong. And if you don't know what, what you're, what's wrong with your definition of atheism, you, don't, you can't know why the question is flawed. Atheism is not saying there is no God. Get that through your head. This is very important. Atheism does not say there is no God. Atheism says... I don't believe in God. Not, I believe there is no God. It says, I don't believe in God. That there is a God. That is a fundamental difference. And you, have to, you have to understand this. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples to, to drive this point home. Because this is where the entire, your entire argument falls flat. This is why what you're saying is stupid. If you say there is no God, that is a positive claim. That is a statement. That is saying there is no God. That would be strong atheism or anti-theism. Then there's a saying, I don't believe there is a God. I don't believe in God. That's simply saying it's not been proven. I don't, I'm not saying there is no God. I'm not saying there is a God. I'm simply saying... I don't believe in any God because it has not been proven. And then the other extreme is theism, there is a God, or I believe there is a God. And this, I can, I, oh, you have, to, you really have to get this through your head. So I'm going to use another uh, analogy that I've always really liked, and it's the courtroom analogy. Atheism is not saying that, let's say that you're a jury. If you're saying that the defendant is guilty for a crime, you're a theist. If you say he didn't do a crime, he is innocent, 
then you'd be a strong atheist or an anti-theist. Atheism, in the middle, is simply saying, you haven't proven that he's guilty. You haven't proven that, it's, that he's innocent, but mainly it's, you haven't proven yet that he is guilty. And so, when you ask, proof atheism, you're saying, what you're, you're saying, proof, lack of belief you're not saying prove there is no god which is what you what you want to ask you're saying uh prove that you you do not believe in god and that's a big difference and I'll, I'll explain to you why it is the right thing to lack a belief in god because that's what you want to know but we you can't no atheist can and that's what you're trying to get at we cannot prove there is no God. We can't prove this. So in that, in that, you're right about that. We cannot prove there is no God. But we're not trying to prove there is no God. And we do not have to prove there is no God. And it's the same reason as what in a courtroom you don't have to prove someone's innocent. No, you have to prove they're, they're guilty. And when we're simply saying you haven't proven them guilty. It's, our judgment is simply not guilty. We're not saying there is no God. We're saying you haven't proven there is a God yet. And why is this the default position? Well, I'll explain it to you. And it's actually very simple. First of all, everyone starts off as an atheist because when you're born, you do not believe in God. You also don't believe there is no God, but you simply lack a belief in God. Simple. So saying, oh, 2% of the... It doesn't matter how, how, how many people are atheists. That's, that's an argument from popularity. That, that doesn't matter. But you always have to start by saying, okay, here we have nothing. And if you insert a positive claim before and saying, I believe there's something here, then it's also always their responsibility to prove it. Because if you don't, you're going to end up believing all kinds of things that are not true and you'll have a bad grasp, a bad understanding of reality. Because you can also say, for instance, if you say there's a god, well, prove there's not, well, there's a flying spaghetti monster, there's Zeus, there's... All these things have to be proven. If I say I have five dollars, it's reasonable to believe me. Well, actually, it's a lie because <laughs> no, I'm in Europe. You have yours. I don't have five dollars. But even if, if if I say I have a million euros, that would be up to me to prove to you because that's that's, un that's unlikely. And when I you say, well, I say you don't have a million euros, then it's also up to me to prove that you uh, that you don't have five million euros. However. I'm not saying you don't have 5 million euros. I'm saying you haven't proven that you have 5 million euros. So I'm going to lack that belief. I'm not going to believe you until you've proven this. And it's nonsense to say that it's better to just assume there is a God and then start having to discredit that notion that reality simply doesn't work that way. The default position is if someone says something exists, like a Yeti or Bigfoot, the default position is, well, I've not seen proof of that. It's unlikely. You know, you'll have to prove it to me before I believe it. And I won't say there is no Yeti. I'll say there probably isn't a Yeti. But you have to you're the one who has to prove to us first that there's any belief, any reason to believe it in the first place. And there is no reason to believe in a God because it makes, it doesn't simplify the universe. It adds something that doesn't answer anything and it's just a random addition to, uh, to the system. If a God would have to be more complex than the universe, and it, it doesn't explain anything, because if you say, where does God come from, oh, he's always existed, you can say the universe always existed, if, 
If you say uh, God came from nothing, you can say the universe came from nothing. It is something you insert that there's no reason to insert it. And unless you come up with a reason why it's needed, then you have a, a, then you have a case. Then you have something to argue from. But so far you haven't proven that there's any reason to believe in it. And once more, this is where you have to take from this video. Anti-theism or strong atheism is saying, I believe there is no God. Atheism is saying, I don't believe in a God. There is a difference between I believe there is no God and I don't believe there is a God. Just, you have to understand this and think about this for a while because this is really, really the, 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 the whole, the, the point where, where you're just wrong or where you don't understand it <laughs> and why it's stupid because this, this is not that hard to grasp. I mean, when you're born, you don't believe in a God, right? You do not believe in a God when you're born. Because you've never thought about this. You do not believe in a God. However, you also don't believe there is no God. That's the, that's the difference. It's a skill. It's like a skill from, from here to here. There is no God. There is a God. And we're saying, well, this has not been proven. This has not been proven either, but neither has this. So we have to be somewhere in the middle. Until, he, until one of the two is proven, the one of the two extremes, there either is a God or there is no God. Until one of the two is proven, the wise thing is, is to say I lack belief in either explanation. I, personally, I'm a strong atheist. I believe there is no God. But atheism in itself has nothing to do with that. And I can, if you ask me to prove there is no God, which is what you want to do, I can simply say, well... It is unlikely because it doesn't add anything. There are an infinite number of variables. And if just like if I have a dice and I throw it and I say, well, I'm not saying it won't land on six, I'm, but I, I'm, I don't have any proof it won't land on six. But I do think it won't land on six because there's a five and six chance that it will not land on six. And that's it. That's the only proof of there not being a god, is that it is unlikely. There's no reason to believe it, and it doesn't explain anything. But the reason to lack a belief in God is simply because theists haven't explained it. Done. And if you don't understand this, watch the video again. This is my first video, so it's still a little bit uh, fragmented and... Um, I'm Dutch, so my English isn't perfect, but yeah, Do, think about your beliefs, think about why. This, this question has been answered, it's been answered better than the way I'm answering it, by great people, and trust me, what you're doing in most of your videos is simply talking over the other people, and oh, that's just pathetic, that's just sad. Trust me, you're wrong. Your question isn't hard. It's stupid and it's pointless. Bye.